what's up youtube this is your girl comedic medium prophetess and i'm back with another video if you're new to my channel i am a prophetic tarot reader i do not read cards based off the meanings i read cards based off what spirit tells me the holy angels and the divine and i'm gonna do a reading for virgo holy spirit holy angels archangel mike michael archangel raziel archangel raziel please give me clear and precise messages for virgo Clear and precise messages for Virgo. Clear and precise messages for Virgo. I ask you to see your greatest white light and give me clear and precise messages. We have, I lack accountability. Somebody could be in the military because we have Navy, Army, etc. We have, I never meant to hurt you. You hate me. We have polygamy. Uh-oh. We have boss chick. Let me take you out to eat. So somebody could want to take you out on a date. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, more messages, please. More messages, please. Somebody really misses you. I feel that in the spirit. We have supervisor, manager. We have family, friends. I'm hearing somebody could have lost their job. This week or last week or over the weekend, somebody could have lost their job because they lost their car. They could have lost transportation. So, unfortunately, that made them lose their job. You're always on my mind. You're always on my mind. So, somebody is always on somebody's mind. Why can't we just chill? Why can't you just chill? We have, I'm scared to reach out to you. So, somebody is scared to reach out to you. I love you so much. Dating site miss you i'm telling you i just said that somebody misses somebody we have michigan so somebody could stay in michigan or be from michigan i'm here in detroit i know you're my i know i i don't know i'm a divine masculine we have all right chosen one freaky screaming in virgo look so this is definitely of Virgo. These are all the messages <laughs> that I pulled out for you guys. Let's see. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. So Virgo, you could be dealing with another Virgo. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. I miss you. I'm hearing that song in my head. It's been too long and I'm lost without you. What am I gonna do? Said I've been needing you, wanting you. Ooh, who's been with you? Give me some messages, spirit. Is your head still mine? I wanna cry sometimes. I miss you. What's going on? Holy Spirit, Holy. I feel like somebody really, really misses you. I'm hearing somebody is having car trouble. They didn't lost their job. I'm hearing somebody specifically lost their job because they're having car trouble. I feel like somebody got up for work and their car didn't start. I'm hearing somebody could have tried to work on, uh, they're trying to work on getting another job so they can get a car before the winter time or something like that. I'm hearing this person wants to travel towards you to see you. I'm hearing somebody could have uh, traveled toward, was attempting to travel towards you, but their car stopped. I miss you. Yeah, this person sees that you're very abundant. I'm hearing be careful because somebody could just be wanting to come back towards you. I'm hearing that this is a ex. This could be a karmic ex or something like that. I'm hearing somebody could just be wanting to come back towards you to get your abundance. And I'm also hearing to break you back down. I'm, I'm heavily feeling like a narcissistic energy here. Give me more messages, please. Yeah, you're always on this person's mind. I feel like you're always on this person's mind because they're trying to figure out a plot and a plan plan to steal this abundance that you have virgo yeah i feel like this person is dealing with a lot of bullshit i feel like there's a lot of fighting and arguing going on amongst family and friends look i can't make this up look supervisor manager somebody could have recently got fired from a job i'm hearing last week over the weekend more messages please spirit 
I feel like somebody went outside to start their car to go to work and the car would not start. I'm hearing, I picked up on this in another reading. It's like their energy be like repetitive, y'all. But I picked up on this in another reading where somebody, uh, shoot, I hope I didn't just lose train of thought. Oh, yeah, somebody's brakes were bad. Somebody needs to stop driving their car. Somebody has bad brakes. I, I picked up on it in another reading like a, a week or so ago. Yeah, so like I said, it says, let me take you out to eat. I feel like somebody could have been trying to come towards you to take you somewhere or take you out or come come visit your home and their car stopped as well. I'm hearing ride share. So you could like ride in the car with this person. You you could like pay this person's gas or something to get back to back and forth to work or this person is doing that. Yeah, whoever you are, you're very abundant. This person, this I'm hearing that this could be an ex of yours that puts you in a third party situation because we have polygamy here. You're somebody that's very abundant and this person sees you as a boss chick. I'm hearing you could have glowed up. This person feels like you hate them. This person is saying, I never meant to hurt you. Somebody could be in the military here. That could resonate or not resonate at all with anybody. But somebody could be a, egg, a veteran or something like that. Or be in the military. Or you could be in the military. Yeah, this person lacks accountability. Yeah, again, you could be dealing with another Virgo. We have screaming here. I feel like this person, I feel like this person's spirit is screaming because I'm hearing they let a good one get away. They let a boss chick get away because they wanted to be freaky and nasty and hoe in the street. I'm hearing that they let a chosen one get away. I feel like we have all right. I feel like with this card, I feel like nothing is going okay for this person. Nothing is all right. I feel like this person, I feel like this person's karma is, is this person is so sad, man. Whoever this is, this person is really depressed. I feel like whoever this person is, this person's karma is having to sit back and watch you be abundant. I don't know why I'm here in Libra, Virgo. So you could be dealing with a Libra. Yeah, I feel like this person needs to stop trying to come towards you. So this person could be like blowing up your phone, calling you. But I'm heavily hearing with this stop card, somebody got up to go to work and their car wouldn't start. It says, I don't know, I'm a divine masculine. So this, some, this could be your masculine here. Somebody that lives a low vibrational lifestyle. But I'm not heavily hearing, I'm not hearing that this is a masculine, I mean a divine masculine. I'm hearing this could have been a karmic soulmate or something like that that thinks that you're a mask, they're a divine masculine. I'm hearing that somebody could be heavily watching tarot as well. Again, somebody can stay in Michigan. I'm hearing Detroit, Michigan. I'm hearing Grand Rapids. We have, why can't you just t chill? Yeah, I feel like whoever this is, this person misses you and they're wanting to come towards you, but they feel like you're going to snap on them or argue with them. I feel like this person is afraid to reach out to you. You could have met this person on a dating site or this masculine here could have went towards somebody else that they met on a dating site, somebody that they betrayed you for. This person is going through karma and this person is very frustrated because they're, they're trying to gain the strength, gain the knowledge. I feel like this person is frustrated because they see that you're strong and you're standing in your power. This person is also frustrated because you've grown, you, you've grown, excuse me, not you've grown, you've grown, you've changed, you've evolved into this boss chick or you could be a, a, a man, but male or female, but you, you've evolved into this boss chick. You're somebody that's very abundant and I feel like you're just resting and rejuvenating. You're comfortable. I feel like you have a beautiful home or comfortable home. I feel like this person is angry because they're also jealous of your abundance yeah this person i feel like you come off very mysterious to not only only this person but several people hold on you guys let me get some water But yeah, I feel like you guys come off very mysterious to not only this person, several people. I feel like it makes this person angry because they don't know what you're doing. They don't know what you're up to. This person is frustrated. They're also frustrated because they love you so much. I feel like this person does love you. They do care about you, but this person is afraid to reach out in fear of what you're going to say. Yeah, this person loves you and cares about you, but this person doesn't mean you any good. I feel like this person is in pain. They're suffering from a lot. I'm heavily hearing childhood wounds. 
yeah, this this person is jealous of your confidence. They're jealous of your creativity. I feel like you could have ghosted this person in the past or this person ghosted you. And that's why there is a death to this situation. Yeah. I feel like you're you're somebody that's very abundant. I feel like you're hungry to get to the top. You're hungry to keep moving and keep being moving forward and get to your destiny. I feel like this person tried to isolate you. When this person walked away from you or you walked away from this person, this is why you could have. Yeah, this person did a lot of spell work. This person tried to play off in your energy. I feel like this person is upset because you've grown. They they can't play off in your energy no more. They can't one up you. They can't betray you. You're somebody that's very sweet, very loving. I'm here in Queen of Cups. I feel like you could also have new love coming in or you could be dating somebody else or somebody could have came and took you out on a date. So you could have met somebody on a dating site I'm hearing. But whoever this is, this person really, really misses you. And I feel like this person can't figure out how what they can do to come towards you because we have movement here. This person sees you that you're happy and they yeah, I can't make this up rejection. This person feels like if they come towards you that you're going to reject them. This person feels like if they come towards you, they don't want to disrupt your life. I can't make this up. This person doesn't want to dis disrupt your life, disrupt your peace. I feel like this person is all over the place. They don't know what they want to do. But I'm hearing that somebody lost their job. Yeah, somebody lost their job because their car wouldn't stop. This person is dealing with a lot of anxiety. This person needs to cleanse. This person needs to heal. I feel like this person cannot one up you anymore because you're somebody that's very con con conscious, conscious, conscious. I hope I said that right. You're somebody that's very conscious and you're someone that's very enlightened. So I'm hearing like the old tricks and tax tactics will not work on you anymore. I feel like you've elevated. You've grown. You've grown from this person. I feel like you. Excuse me. I feel like you guys had went into hermit mode. You went into isolation and you really worked on yourself. And this is why you're so confident. This is why you've had some type of glow up. And I'm seeing here, you are a mystery to not only this person, angel number 12, 12 on the clock. As I say this, you're not only a mystery to this person, you're a mystery to several people. Nobody knows what you're doing. I'm hearing there is a lot of people, angel number 12, 22 on the clock. There is a lot of people here that's trying to calculate your money, trying to see how you get your money. Uh, somebody could be trying to hack into your bank account or something like that. And I feel like you're just resting and rejuvenating. You're comfortable. I'm hearing some you sitting somewhere late and paid. You're very successful. I feel like you don't have anything to worry about because you're highly protected. I feel like there is a lot of people here as well as this person that's trying to figure out how you get you how you get your money, how you earn your money. I feel like there could be a lot of rumors going on. Hold on, you guys. Yes, I feel like there could be a lot of rumors going on. People are making up stuff saying you're having sex for money or doing some type of illegal activities for money or something like that. I feel like there is a lot of hating energy going on. I feel like whatever you're doing is giving this person anxiety. But I'm hearing rejection is protection. So this person could have rejected you in the past and now you're rejecting them. But I feel like you might not even be in communication with this person. You don't want to be bothered with this person because this person did spell work on you. This person tried to keep you stuck with spell work. And I feel like you got away from this person. I feel like you used your intuition. You got away from this person and you cleansed yourself. You cleansed your energy and you moved on with your life. Yeah, and this is why this person is frust frustrated. And I'm also hearing that you guys have a new love coming in or you could have met somebody new on a dating site or something like that. Anything else, Spirit, before I close this out? Man, somebody is really having car trouble. Somebody's car could be in the shop. Yeah, Spirit is saying do not trust this person. So if this person tries to come, because I feel like I'm hearing that this person is trying to find a way. I feel like this person stays up at night and tries to think of a way to reconcile with you. But spirit is saying you might not need to trust this person. Or if you want to reconcile with this person, use discernment because this person I'm hearing, they don't need you. Look, I can't make this up. They don't mean you no good. We have caution here. You might need to stop and really think about, you know, letting this person back in because I'm hearing that this song. I'm hearing that song by Aaliyah. I miss you. It's 
it's been too long and I'm lost without you. Yeah, this person feels lost without you. What am I going to do? This person is in pain. They're heartbroken. Yeah, and they're also jealous of your confidence. I feel like whoever you are, you've isolated. You, you, you took your energy back from this, this magician here. And you, you, you isolated yourself and you worked on yourself. Yeah, this person is afraid to reach out to you. This person is... This, I feel like this person is in fear and afraid to reach out to you because you are a mystery. This person does not know what you're doing, what's going on. This person doesn't know if you're in a relationship or not. I feel like this makes this person angry because they can't figure out a way to move, how to move towards you. I feel like a lot of people want to know your moves. A lot of people want to know how you get your money. I feel like a lot of people are also intimidated because you're somebody that's conscious. You're somebody that's enlightened. Your third eye is open. I'm hearing also there's a lot of people here as well as this person that's angry because they want to interrupt your peace because you blocked your energy off. You took your energy back. You, 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 you created space between this person and people. I feel like because you're somebody that's very loving, you're very sweet, you're very caring. Uh-oh. Sorry about that, you guys. You're somebody that's very loving. You're very sweet. You're very caring. I feel like this person and several people took your kindness for weakness. And I feel like wh whoever you are, you're very abundant and you're sitting somewhere comfortable. Angel number 16, 16 on the clock. As I say this, you're somebody that's very creative, creative. And I feel like there's a lot of people that's great, jealous of your creativity because you're some, I'm hearing something of the different, not something of the norm. I'm hearing you're very protected, but I feel like you know you're protected. I, have, I feel like you have a strong faith in God. And like I said, I can't make this up. You're somebody that's very enlightened. You're somebody that's been illuminated. I'm hearing your third eye is open. I'm hearing you can have like ancient, uh, your ancient blood or something. You can have a royal bloodline. Your, your bloodline can be from Kemet or something like that. Ancient Egypt. You're somebody that's extremely enlightened. I'm hearing that this person and several people are jealous of your growth, jealous of your growth. So they want to stop you. They want to block you and they see that you're determined. But I feel like there's nothing that these people can do or this person can do to stop you or block you because you are protected. And I feel like you've caused people to have to look at themselves, look in the mirror. I'm hearing specifically, you caused this person to try to, to, to have to look at themselves because I feel like this person could have said a lot of lies. This, this person could have said a lot of things, spoke a lot of negativity. A lot of people could have said a lot of fucked up shit and put dirt on your name. But I feel like because you are protected and because your faith is so strong, I feel like your ancestors do not play about you. You're somebody of a royal bloodline because we have purple here and you know purple symbolizes royalty i'm hearing that you're somebody of a royal bloodline i'm hearing you're destined for greatness and i feel like all of this spell work that this person did or these people did because i feel like whoever this person is there they were maybe amongst a group of people this could have been family and friends because i think i did pull that out as well i feel like you're causing people to have to look at themselves I feel like there is this part, there is a person here, a masculine here in Pacific and several people thinking to themselves, why would we treat this person like that? I'm hearing that somebody didn't know that you were chosen or you were an earth angel. Yeah, I feel like there is a lot of people jealous of your abundance. I feel like there is a lot of people that's spreading rumors and lies and gossip saying that you could be having sex for money or you're, 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 you're promiscuous or something like that. I feel like these people are jealous of your beauty as well. I feel like there is people trying to count your pockets, trying to see where you get how you get your money, where you getting your damn money from. I'm heavily hearing somebody could be saying that you're having sex for money, but that you're somebody that's balanced. You're somebody that's one with the divine. I feel like there's nothing. I'm hearing you're in a temperance energy and you're happy. And I feel like all of these people in this person is wanting to stop your happiness. Yeah, whoever this is, they need to surrender to the divine because I feel like no matter what they try to do, it's nothing is going to work because at the end of the day, you're going to be successful. You're going to be successful regardless, no matter what they try to do. And this is why there is a, a, um, a depth to this situation. Keep being passionate, uh, um, Virgo. And I feel like you could have ghosted this person. And I'm here to continue to ghost, to probably ghost this person because this person is angry. This person is angry because they can't get in your business and they can't ruin you or destroy you. And I feel like you've just been resting and rejuvenating. This person is sad. 
And I'm hearing that you guys are hungry to get to your destiny. I'm hearing keep going. Keep being passionate. Keep standing in your power. This person is angry. This person is angry and frustrated because they can no longer play, uh, play in your energy. All right, you guys. My name is the Comatic Medium Prophetess. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. I don't know. Spirit, it's like Spirit want me to say this. Because it's like he, Spirit wants me to keep going. Somebody lost their car. Hold on. Is there anything else, Spirit? Somebody lost their car. I, oh, I'm hearing somebody could be trying to key your car or something like that. I'm hearing that you need to be careful. Because somebody... Uh-oh. Okay, sorry about that. I dropped the cart. But yeah, somebody could be trying to key your car. Because I'm like, spirit, I'm trying to get out of this energy. What is it? Somebody could be trying to key your car, watch your car, or do something to your car. So I'm here and be very careful. Be very careful. Oh, thank you, spirit. So there is a queen of wands here. So this person could have left you for somebody else. So, so this queen of wands could be watching you, stalking you on social media or stalking your home. They could try to kill you, a key or kill you. I was going to say key your car. So this person could be trying to key your car. Or put, I'm here and put sugar in your tank or do something to your car to try to find out where you live. Because I feel like the, whoever this past person was, you were connected with, they could have juggled you. And I feel like you, like I said, you walked away and you pulled your energy back and you no longer wanted to be deal with this person because they were a magician in your life. Yeah, and I feel like whoever this person is, so I feel like there is a karmic energy here that feels like they took your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your husband, your wife, or something like that, and they're pissed off because you're unbothered, and because you're unbothered, this person is stalking you, they could try to do something to your car, so I'm hearing if you have a garage, like if you live in a house, put your car in the garage, or somebody could be trying to, so I feel like there could be a karmic masculine here and a karmic feminine here, these two people, two idiots here that could be trying to figure out how you make your money they're saying you're doing some type of illegal activities for money you could be they're saying that you're promiscuous man there is a lot of jealousy here yeah i feel like this this karmic feminine could be like a computer whiz or very tech savvy so they could be trying to show this person how to hack into your bank account or get personal information this feminine could be tied to a lot of uh, computer hackers or hackers or something like that could be in their family and they could be trying to get your information to see how you make your money but i'm hearing that you ain't doing nothing but but praying and 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 you're balanced and you're one with the divine like it's nothing that these people can do because when god give you something can't nobody take it from you is there anything else spirit it's like y'all wouldn't let me stop is there anything else before i close this out yeah i feel like yeah this is a look this king of swords here this is a karmic mask and i feel like this is somebody that you could have had a karmic you closed out a karmic cycle with this is a karmic masculine here that's angry and pissed off angry and pissed off because you've had some type of glow up you're a boss yeah somebody that wanted to keep you stuck yeah you're a boss and i feel like this masculine is jealous jealous of your glow up jealous of your come up you also come off very mysterious they're also jealous of your creativity i feel like every i feel like i'm hearing a masculine say yeah look i can't make this up this masculine is going through judgment i'm hearing a masculine say no matter what i've tried to do i couldn't stop you i can't stop you yeah with this three of swords this masculine wanted you heartbroken but i feel like you pulled your energy back you took your energy back and now you glowed up you you're, you're you're a boss and you're not i feel like you're not worried about this people this person has tried to keep you in this hangman energy this masculine here but really they're stuck and i feel like this masculine did not know that who you were that you were spiritually high ranked or something like that and you're highly protected this masculine is going through judgment. Anything else before I close this out, spirit? Yeah, look, I can't make this up. Look, this king of wands here. Yeah. That's carrying a lot of burdens. Yeah, this is sad. Who's also going broke, don't have any money. I'm hearing somebody lost their job because their car wouldn't start. They have bad brakes or something like that. Anything else, spirit? 
then whoever this is they've done a lot of spell work and i'm hearing somebody is pissed off because like i said i can't I, it just keeps repeating you're in hermit mode you're focusing on yourself you're not worried about whatever this mask and i'm hearing you need to really like watch your car because there is a feminine here that's trying to find out where you live find out your banking information i'm hearing this is a con Somebody that's trying to find out how you get your money, what type of work you do. I'm hearing you're very mysterious. I'm hearing you come off very mysterious to several people. I feel like somebody could have approached your mother or your father or your family, even your brother. So somebody could have approached somebody in your family or several people in your family and uh, nobody will give any information on you because they don't know anything about you. They could be saying that you're having sex for money with, I'm hearing there's also people trying to figure out who you're in a relationship with or who you're talking to. This King of Cups here, I'm hearing it ain't none of nobody fucking business. Yeah, you're this high priestess. So this could be confirmation for you. I'm hearing you're also somebody that's very angelic. Like I said, you're somebody that's very balanced. Yeah. Yeah, somebody wants to know who your divine masculine is, who you're in a relationship is with. I'm hearing, yeah, you're this star. I'm hearing no matter what these people try to do, they're not going to figure it out. So they can die trying to figure out what who, what you doing and where you going and who you with. Yeah, because they broke and don't have no money. Specifically here, there is a karmic masculine here that's a part of this. Yeah. All right, you guys, I'm out of this energy. Yeah, you're abundant with the Ten of Pentacles. And you keep being abundant. You keep being passionate. And you keep fighting and getting to your destiny. All right. Again, my name is the Comedic Medium Providence. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. If you'd like to donate to my channel, my cash app is in the description box. Thank you and goodbye, Virgo.